What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Totes. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. Um, been laying low a little bit. But I'm back. I'm going to keep moving around and, and, and keep some stuff going, get some content flowing on here. A little bit more than I normally have. I do shorts often, but we're going to start making some more videos. But anyways, so today we are going to talk about a new pistol optic that just hit the market, I believe, on the 10th. Um, the other day, it is called, it's from a company called Lead and Steel, and it is called the Pandora PB3. It's actually a pretty dope object. I've been waiting for this for quite some time, um, and I got it in this past week. I was pretty excited about that. I have been running their Promethean on my PWS rifle and on my Geisley Super Duty. Solid optic. Um, I can't say nothing but great things about it. Anyways. Let's get back to the Pandora. So, this is the Pandora PB3 from Lead and Steel. So the one I got comes in a bronze color. Here you go, I got it on this um, Lone Wolf Dust 19. Yes, it is huge on here, and that was the whole purpose I put it on here. Um, I am going to rotate this optic from a few different guns right now just to test it out and play with it a little bit. Um, so I will rotate it around, but right now it is on this one. Again, I got it in the bronze color. Really like this color. This color is pretty dope, actually. Um, it's it's I call it bronze. Some people might call it FD, whatever it may be. But um, before we jump into my usage of it, let's let's talk a little bit about some of the specs. So first of all, they say the window size. I'm gonna get out the way. Look at that. Window size is supposed to be 30% larger than. Okay, hold on, because I know y'all gonna destroy me. It's empty. Anyways. Window size is supposed to be 30% larger than the Acro P2. So that's pretty big. And I mean, just looking at it, you can tell it's a huge optic, which I love that. Um, it is The housing is uh, made out of 7075 um, T6 housing. So that's pretty dope, 7075 aluminum. So it's really strong. Um, recessed brightness controls, which is pretty dope. I like that. And... They're pretty audible. I don't know if you can hear that, but they are pretty audible. Um, it uses a CR2032 battery. It's supposed to be capable of about 30,000 30, hours. Now, of course, you know how that goes. Depends on the brightness setting that you have it on. Will depend on if it will last that long, right? Um, I keep mine on about a medium, or it depends on the daylight outside. But if I do not carry this gun, I will drop it all the way down to its lowest setting. Just a conserved battery, right? But I change my batteries every year on my birthday anyway, so it don't really matter. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, three MOA red dot reticle. Acro P2 footprint, which there's tons of plates out there already, so that's great as well. Um, so anything Acro P2, it should fit on. Um, seven daylight settings, three night vision settings. Um, lifetime warranty. For the original purchaser, so if you're not the original purchaser, of course, it's going to kind of screw you in that area. And also, weighs about 2.3 ounces. So, it's not heavy. Um, it looks like it's heavy on here, but it's really not that heavy. I like it. Um, some of the things I do like. Now, some people... If you don't keep a certain wrench on the on the range, you probably will have trouble zeroing. I know a lot of people like where you can just take a, um, a ammo casing, a ammo case or bullet casing, and be able to do your zeroing and changing your your window and elevation. Well, here, if you see, it is a hex screw. So. Please, I don't know if everybody keeps one on the range. I actually have one on the range all the time. I have like a little bag that has all my stuff in. So it is a hex view, a hex screw uh, for windage and everything. So make sure you know that because you go out there and you don't have one, you're gonna have a problem uh, zeroing it. Um, the glass is super clear. Love the glass. Um, that's one thing that I, I like a lot is how clear the glass is. Oh, you probably can't see the dot, which I'll turn up a little bit so you can try to see a little bit, but. Uh, yeah, anyways. So, yeah, when you're zeroing it, make sure you got a hex screw because that is what you will need. So, it looks a little long, but if you look here, there. well, the camera's facing me, so it's not really, I'm not pointing my gun at anybody. There are screws here. You can actually take this front uh, cover off and actually sort it up. So, if you take off the front cover, and I'll post a picture of that here in a second. If you take off the front cover and the back cover, it slims it up and it's actually shaped more like a, an Acro uh, P2. Again, it is going to be larger than that anyways, but it's still going to have the same shape. So, you can take that house, the front of the housing off to shorten it up. 
I'm not. There's no reason to. Um, I, I kind of like it like it is. It's totally fine. Um, I've put about just 100 rounds through it just because I went out and zeroed it, got a couple shots from it, really liked it, but I just wanted to really get it zeroed. So I'm going to be putting about 1,000 rounds through it. I'm not going to beat my optics up. That's just not what I do. Uh, if you want somebody to do that, check out Sage Dynamics. He's going to do it. It's going to be awesome. When he does it, he'll give you that. But, you know, from what I know about the company and what they've done with the Promethean, these optics are solid when it comes to um, how well built they are, right? So I'm not going to – I think this is going to be just as well built as the Promethean. I will do some, you know, of course, like racking it off of things and stuff like that. I will definitely do all those things. What I'm not going to do is throw it, okay? I'm not going to be throwing my shit everywhere and trying to break it. But um, I will do some testing like that. But I just want to kind of come through, show it to you guys, um, give you some of the specs about it, um, let you know I'm going to start running it. I'm pretty excited about it. I've been waiting for it again, like I said, for a while. Um and so I'm going to put it through its paces, make sure it holds zero, make sure it can withstand a couple of racks off of walls, stuff like that. Again, I won't be dropping it. I won't be throwing it. There's a lot of people out there that will do that. Definitely check out one of their channels so that you can you can get that peace of mind. I'm not going to do that on mine. Um, I'm going to just test it, you know, how I normally test my optics, just run them through the paces, putting a lot of rounds through them, making sure they hold zero, stuff like that, making sure they can withstand at least racking off of some stuff. We're going to do that. But anyways, again, this is the, um, this is the Pandora PB3 from Lead and Steel. If, you know, I'll let you guys know more about it later on as I get some more rounds through it. But go and check these guys out. Again, they're really cool guys. And it looks like they have a winner in the red dot optic space. We love to see new red dot hits the market, especially quality red dots. So hopefully this will be another one. But I'll be back in about a month or two to give a thousand round review of what I think about the optic. All right. Anyways, um, like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy Totes. Y'all have a good day.